everybody and thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Who am I? I am Brina. And what does Brina do? I bring the bang to the muck, baby. How is everybody doing today on this beautiful Friday, Friday, Friday? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I'm doing okay, but we'll get more into that in a moment. All right. I'm going to let you know what we have. We're going to say our grace and we are going to eat. All right, family. Hey everybody and thank you so much for stopping by my channel if you've been here before thank you thank you thank you for coming back i love you please keep coming back if you've not been here before why don't you go ahead and subscribe and join my family over here we have nothing but fun <laughs> a mucking and a banging <laughs> anyway today i have tokyo express i have never eaten here before today we have the hibachi steak and chicken we have a side of noodles. Look how pretty those noodles are. And look how pretty that hibachi steak and chicken. It's got carrots and broccoli and onions. Oh my Lord. Zucchini. Um, we also have a side salad with some ginger dressing. And for drink today, what do we have? A Coca-Cola. <laughs> I also have my water. Womp, womp, womp. We see we're not doing good today. It's okay. It's been one of those days, you guys. Anyway, I also have a lot of white sauce, which I love. So I'm glad that they included that because when you order through Uber Eats, there's not a place where you can select what sauces you want. So they gave me four, which is good, and two ginger for the salad, which is good. So, so far, so good. All right. Let's say our grace, and then we'll get ready to eat. All right. Are you ready? Let's go. Amen. Did you say amen with me? Thank you. <laughs> Today, you guys, I have my mukbang kit <laughs> if you are interested in purchasing a mukbang kit the details will be in the description box and I need a spoon and and this has chopsticks you guys but I'm not even gonna play myself on here and act like I know how to use them not gonna happen <laughs> so once I get better with the chopsticks We'll do more with the chopsticks. How about that? <laughs> and these, this fork in the spoon is gugongous. So please don't mind that. But I am hungry and I'm ready. So let's get some of this sauce on my rice. Baby, baby, baby. Saucy. You know that's how Brina likes it. Saucy. I'll just put one on for now, all right? And I've already got some Coke in my little drink here thing. So I'll top it off when needed. All of this looks so good, I don't even know where to start, you guys. Um, let's start with the chicken, the hibachi chicken and rice and steak. how big this spoon is lord have mercy thank god he blessed me with a big mouth <laughs> mm. you guys first bites mean something to you you know that was really good that steak is um, cooked just nicely the chicken is nice and moist. Mm. Would you like a bite? I'll put a lot of steak on there for you. Hmm. Mm. 
Oh yes, yeah, so we'll be eating here again. Oh yes. Let's get some ginger sauce on our salad. Now you already know you won't be able to see this salad good, so please forgive me for that. Where's my forky? Forky. I love crisp um, lettuce, you guys. Oh my Lord. So far so good. No complaints. Let's try these noodles. Can we have some noodles please? Would you like some noodles? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I will definitely be eating here again you guys. So good. Tokyo Express. Hello, goodbye. Mm. You guys are ridiculous. <laughs> mm. I think I'm going to even put a little bit of sauce in my noodles. Don't judge me. Because I'm Brina and I like it. Saucy. Don't come for me. It is what it is. All right, you guys. So it's Friday. I hope everybody's week went well. I'm going to tell you something while I'm eating. And not to gross anyone out. But just to let you know. How I'm doing right now if you watched any of my videos some time back um, I told you guys that I suffer with PMDD which is premenstrual dysphoric disorder okay and I also told you that um, my cycles were so bad that my doctor finally agreed to do a partial hysterectomy. Mm, 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 mm. That is so good. Well, I also told you that I was told that once you have this partial hysterectomy, the PMDD will start to subside. and you'll start feeling better. It'll be a whole new you. <laughs> well, I'm here to tell you. After surgery and some time, you know, went by, I think I was so concerned with healing and trying to keep my mental positive that I kind of tried to push away the fact that I was still dealing with the PMDD. And um, plus I had my surgery, right? in the middle of the pandemic so of course that was on your mind being out of work making sure enough money was coming in the house you know for you to continue to pay your bills while you were out recovering so 
so I didn't really pay it much attention plus I had such a hard time after surgery getting sleep I already struggled with um, insomnia but after surgery it just got terrible where I was actually staying up all night long for days at a time everybody said oh that's probably just the effects of being put to sleep blah 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 well doctor ended up having to put me on medicine to try to help me sleep still not the greatest like last night I was up till I don't know what time and I was miserable because I knew I had to go to work today and when I woke up this morning I felt like I hadn't slept anyway so I was dealing with so many things and um, I didn't really pay the PMDD part too much attention I knew I still felt it I knew you know I know when it's coming you know anyway after some months passed it seemed like it started picking up the d depression sadness lack of motivation um, not being able to concentrate and as I told you in some in the other some of my other mukbangs my husband and I were starting to bump heads a lot and I was on medication for it once I had my surgery but I guess about two months that's what it was that's why I didn't pay any attention to it because I was on medication so I'm sorry let me backtrack some I was on medication still for my PMDD for two months maybe three that's why I didn't pay any attention okay but then the doctor not the one who did my surgery but the doctor that I changed to because Ugh, this all sounds crazy I had the bomb doctor female doctor I loved her but she was not trying to do the hysterectomy and I could not continue to be worried about my cycle having to leave work early blah 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 so I changed doctors someone gave me a, a doctor that they said was great blah 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 I changed to him okay He's the one that said we're going to go ahead and do the hysterectomy. But he didn't do it. I had to go to a different doctor for the hysterectomy. So this doctor continued me on the medication that I was already on prior to the hysterectomy that was helping me get through these months. I was on the medication for probably three months, I want to say. Then the doctor, the prior doctor who okayed my hysterectomy, took me off said you should be fine now <laughs> so here I am with nothing to help me get through these bad times okay and I haven't been back to I haven't been back to the doctor who did the hysterectomy but I'm scheduled to go back to him yeah. 
So when I do go back to him, I'm going to tell him that I honestly cannot believe that every woman who suffers with PMDD stops suffering because of, of a hysterectomy. You can't tell me that. Because today is one of those days I have cried for no reason. I have put myself down all day. I saw something that triggered all of this. And it honestly upsets me that a doctor just automatically thinks that you are better because of a procedure that is supposed to change the way I don't even know what to say your mental mental health is set up it has been so rough today it has been rough Every single month since I have been off that medication, bumping heads with my husband, and I am here to tell you, I'm sorry this is not a mukbang that you want to be a part of, I get it, this is just my truth, this is just what I'm going through today. And I feel like I can be honest and open here with you guys. Maybe I can't. I don't know. <laughs> we will see. <clears throat> but I feel like if I don't get back on medication, I'm going to lose my mind. Because I tell you, it is the week before my cycle is supposed to be here. And the week of, it might last one more day, maybe two. Then once that week is over, I am back to happy-go-lucky Sabrina. I'm back to her. That monster is gone. <laughs> I mean, I was trying to work today. Thank God I work from home. Because if I worked at the job, they would be looking at me like, what in the world are you doing? <laughs> My boss took off today, so. I didn't want to take ask for a day while she was already off. I barely got by today. <laughs> working it was so hard if you don't know about PMDD look it up it is PMS times a hundred maybe more and it is almost uncontrollable the way that you feel your emotions how you think about yourself I wouldn't wish this on any body in the world, not even my worst enemy. Cause you really have no control over yourself. You are liable to say anything and do anything 
and it is so hard playing catch myself like you have to be on guard you have to catch yourself before you say something wrong you have to catch yourself before you do something wrong you have to catch yourself all day long while this thing lasts it is the worst I didn't come on here to make anyone sad or feel sorry for me. Please don't. I wanted to come on here because you guys make me happy and I needed that. I needed that. <laughs> you ever just needed something? So anyway, let's get us some more sauce, shall we? Let's get us a little more saucy sauce here and a little more saucy sauce there. Excuse me. A little saucy sauce everywhere. Well, you guys, I'm really hoping that I get to see my grandbabies tomorrow. I think their dad is going to get them. I'm not sure. I haven't heard from them. But that would be a great thing for the weekend. Get my grandbabies, spend time with them. You know? This food is really ridiculous, you guys. It really is. I'm very glad that I tried Tokyo Express. I am impressed. I will definitely eat here again. Um... Let my husband try it. <laughs> really, really good. My water has been going okay this week. You can't tell by what I showed you earlier, but. And I'm still feeling it inches wise. I really do feel it coming off. But I want to tell you real quick about my little snot. <laughs> my oldest son. So, you know, he's the one who introduced me to in intermittent fasting. Cool. So he's telling me how he's walking every day and he's jogging and he's doing this and he's doing that. Okay, great. Hallelujah. Good for you. <laughs> so then he asked me the question, have you been on your bike? Now y'all know it already took me everything in my power under the sun to get on that bike, right? And when I got on it, I didn't stay on it very long. Okay. I'll admit it. I didn't. Excuse me. And have I gotten back on it? Not lately. <laughs> so I was telling him all that, you know, and telling him about the, um, the amount of time that I stayed on the bike the first time that I got on it. 
And he was like, well, mom, you really don't have anything to celebrate until you can do at least 30 minutes on that bike. You really have nothing to celebrate. Uh, what? I mean, he's right. But anybody who has children, do you remember the days when they would, um, they were learning how to catch a ball? And even if they missed, you told them what a great job you did. <laughs> What about when they finally learned how to pee pee in the potty? What a great job you did. What about making their bed, even if it wasn't made correctly? What a great job you did. How come kids can't do that for their parents? <laughs> I just said, bye. I don't wanna to talk to you anymore. <laughs> I do not want to talk to you anymore. If you can't give me some props for getting on that bike and riding it for those few little minutes. After all the basketball shots you missed and mommy still said you did a great job. <laughs> After all your ugly artwork, but mommy kept it forever because she said you did a great job. <laughs> If you can't give me the same respect, then I don't want to talk to you anymore. So I hung up on him. <laughs> I mean, we were already saying bye, but He was saying something and I hung up. <laughs> oh, me. You got to find your joy somewhere, don't you? I'm really full, you guys. To sit here and keep eating. I probably will munch some, munch some more on the salad, but I know that the salad doesn't show up as pretty with the green screen that I almost didn't put up today. I was just gonna give you my beauty background because just one of those days. But um, I'm glad I put it up. And hopefully this food show is as pretty as it is. It really is really, really good, you guys. So if you're ever in my area, give Tokyo Express a try because I give it two thumbs up and a ridiculous. <laughs> like I said, I will be ordering from them again. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Really, I feel better. I was able to get what I needed to say off my chest. And if you're watching, it may not even pertain to you. You may not know anyone dealing with it, but if you do, be kind, have patience, find some understanding, read up on it, see what it is, and find some understanding, some empathy, some compassion, because they need it. I will speak to the mountaintops about PMDD and what it does and how it affects your life. If you are suffering with it, I am here. I completely understand. Let's talk. Leave a comment and let me know. I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful weekend. Um, and always remember, when you see Brina, Brina is bringing the bay to the muck, baby. Ooh, this was good. I love you guys. Bye-bye.